All right, folks, bright and early, and we're watching another storage auction. I'm getting ready to show that with you. All right, this guy is pissing me off. I'm about to jack the pot. I'm about to put this at 150. God bless it. Do I really want to go 150? We're not. We're going to go 120. Let's see how much this guy really wants to spend. All right. So what's interesting about this auction that we're watching right here, folks, here are some pictures of this. We were watching this auction like a week ago. And when we were watching it, this thing got all the way up to $210 before I finally pumped the brakes. Somebody won it for $220. They never went to go get it. And because of that, the storage place was hitting us up saying, hey, you guys can come get this unit for $210. I never responded to that. They put this auction back up this morning, folks. It was up there for $30. We bid 40 and it's been back and forth ever since. There's a, well, there's five minutes left now. See, these auctions are so greedy. Every time people are still bidding, they're just going to keep rewinding that time until somebody finally gives in. I'm winning this right now at 110 That's $100 cheaper than what it was before. Somebody else is watching this right here with me. Maybe it's the same guy who never came and got the auction the last time. Maybe they're thinking the same thing that we're thinking. We can get this for a lot cheaper than the 220 that we bid it for the first time. But then again, if you don't go get the unit, I think you get banned. So I'm not sure that this is going to be the same person or not, but regardless, we are the same person who was given the second chance opportunity to go get it for 210. We didn't go get it. And now we got the potential of being able to win this unit for a lot cheaper. All right. Really want this auction to hurry up and wrap up. We've got one minute and 14, 13, 12 seconds left. Uh, this person has not come back. After my 110 bid, I think I put 120 on it total, but I can get it for 110 if they don't go over me. 59 seconds left. Are they going to make any last ditch effort to try to get this? Maybe they're going to wait till the last five seconds to try to put in another bid and get this thing up for another five minutes. I want this to hurry up and wrap up so we can go look at these goodies. Look at that, folks. What do you think are in those boxes or possibly in that green tote up there that's taped up? Five, four, three, two. We won. All righty. So that jumped tremendously. Uh, straight to the chase, folks. We're in the box truck. It's only Jellico and I. What's up, guys? How we doing? What's up? Jellico's super happy. Jellico made a lot of money this weekend at his yard sale. Yes, I did. I did make some good money. Some good. That's good money. Good for Jellico right there. And folks, you see it. Y'all watched me bid it this morning. Somebody tried to run me up on the unit. We ended up getting the unit for 110. And we're getting ready to go see what kind of goodies we got in this. I think we're looking for unit 1100, she told me. Two nice women working in there helped us get this unit squared away so we can go get this thing. Uh, but they were telling me that they... Yeah, it's right here. They were telling me that storage units are getting a lot more popular right now. <laughs> and they told me why. They said they heard a rumor that supposedly somebody had found $7,000 in cash in a unit in some kind of a, uh, a jacket. So Jellico is one to always advocate for checking pockets. Always, man. I found, believe it or not, I found close to $42 when I was going through the clothes that I separated just in this time, like the other night before I put everything Hold out. Oh, you found more money? I found yeah, $42. Good. I found Lord. 30 Now, the popular thing is jeans and jackets. Jean pockets and jackets. From now on, I'm always going to check the jean pockets and the jackets. You gotta always check the inside pocket on a jacket and the zip up. Always well, gotta check it. We're getting ready to pop the lock on this unit. Hopefully, we're gonna find some goodies. But that's crazy. Forty-two more dollars. Yep. Don't got trash bags. Don't think we're gonna need trash bags. All right, we're getting ready to go pop the tag on the locker and be hopeful that this is gonna be a good unit. So, folks, currently I am two hundred twenty-five dollars. $225 in the negative. Add another 110 to that for the cost of this unit. I'll give you guys the price breakdown. Uh, we were at $695 in the red. That was three units, not including this one, and a tank of gas and a trip to the dump. That put us at $695. Uh, this is our unit right here. Since then, we sold $120 worth of stuff, which was a bed set and a box spring, and we also sold 
the washer and dryer for $350. So we're at $225, add another $110 to this. And as Jellico gets ready to pop the tag here. What about the Moroccan tray? Like I said, we haven't sold any of that. Trust me. Oh, we've got plenty of money in merchandise, plus whatever we're about to stumble across here. Wait a minute, man. This is a big unit, man. I ain't it's an 8 by 10 And again, as we pop the tag, all we want to know is... Was this worth $110? First look, is it worth $110? Uh, ooh, mattresses. That's just. I think, well, I'm, well, first look. First look, $110. Hell yeah, all day. All day. $110, all day, baby. I am. You know, you know that, man. Hey, you look. Just tell, man. We've been doing this long. Hold on, man. This thing's a little more crammed than I thought. And look, I'm really curious what that is oh right there. Oh my gosh, I need to buy this table off you now. Jellico, come on, man. Don't get too excited yet. Look. I need to buy it off. Hold on. It's super hot, folks. We are going to be sweating our asses off. It's only Jellico and I. Look. Look at this. Hey. Watch out. Watch out. Look. What is that? Ooh, it's loaded, Ooh. too. We got bags. Ooh. This mattress is in horrible condition. We talked about this this morning on the Bobo. It looked like Brokeback Mountain took place on this thing. Uh, but it is what it is. The box springs look like they're in decent shape. Look at this, buddy. Look at this. Yeah. This is good. Bar stools are a little dirtier than they appeared in the pictures. All right, we're going to start getting up into it. There's a light, but we can't even really reach the... Let me see if I can reach that. Oh, wait a minute. I got the light. Did you see what this is? You got, you got another set of bunk beds. Looks like... Well, that's three sets of bunk beds right now. You see there. that right now? That looks like a prison rack. That's another set of bunk beds because I see the stairs. There's only three. Maybe that, is that stairs? Oh, the bar stools are super light. So bar stools, quick little 20, maybe 40 bucks. Uh, I'm gonna say 20 cause they're pretty dirty. Got this white table right here. Tons of boxes. Holy moly, there's a lot more stuff in here than I first thought. Little flea market table right here. I need that table, man. Ooh, looks like there might be some things in that little Walgreens. They got a Walgreens shopping cart in here. Right Alright Jellico, I guess me and you are just going to take turns being the cameraman. These box springs are in decent shape, man. Yep, yeah, I think so too. So those are twin set box springs right there, or they're to a, uh, to a king. And they're to a king, because this is a king size mattress right here. Jellico, what did you think about moving that California King memory foam Friday? Oh wow, that was interesting. <laughs> Folks, we haven't even got a chance to tell you guys just how crazy... Friday was for us involving the two moves. I, I have to say, I think that was the hardest move so far, man, because the steps, the steepness of them steps. Easy on that box spring, Jellico. Uh, Good Lord. I got you. Between the steepness of the box springs and the fact that the floors are... Ooh. Oh, my God, man. You're looking at the shoes. There are shoes in there. Purses. But look at this mattress. Jesus. Yikes. Somebody's whole... Some of these entire grippers fell out. All right. Yeah, this king size is in horrible condition. Horrendous condition. Good Lord, that's nasty. Lots of bags of clothes. Ooh, that's two bunk beds. Mm. My God, there's a lot of beds in here. Plastic cups and other stuff. Kitchen stuff. There you go. This girl did Avon. Did she? Woo! We might get us some more makeup, though. <laughs> Here, you know what? This, you know what we can do? This is what we can do right now. Oh, we got it, Jellico. Strike lightning. <laughs> Ooh, I see jewelry. Damn, that's pretty good. Oh, look at that. Dude, a lot of people at my yard sale were asking about costume jewelry. A lot. Any kind of jewelry. Oh my god, look at this Winnie the Pooh watch. And this thing's still in the case. Look at that. Oh, we're gonna strike off this unit. Jelka, you're opening from the wrong side, man. No, they usually just open just like that, but it's not opening. So it's gotta have a lock switch. Oh cool, Corso's available today. We can be able to go get a phone. Oh follow. yeah, he asked me about work today. He's right down the street. Tell him to ride the moped over here, help us load I'm this stuff say, up. Tell him, tell him where we're at. Man, why isn't this not? That ain't how, it, it usually should just pop right open. 
that's what I thought. Go ahead. Oh. All right, let's put this box off the side. That's a that's a definite strike. Here, let's figure out this table so we can get a place to look at everything. All right, well, Jellica's struggling with the table. I'm going to continue to bring a couple of things out. It don't take two people. Why am I being slow? Here, hold this. You hold this. Let me try to figure it out. Oh, good lord, Jellica. Yeah, never mind. Don't, don't put that. Hold on. Don't put that on. I didn't want to break it because I'm not going to break anything. No, I'm not going to say that. I'm trying not to break anything. Sure, we can set the flea market up right now. Exactly. Call somebody. All right, Jellica. Start handing you boxes. DVDs. Nope. Books. Uno cards. Thor. Woo! Y'all stole that from Redbox. Y'all should be ashamed of yourself. Hey, look, they got a daily bread in here. Oh, when's, the, when, when's the last time you saw one of those? Jail. Uh oh, kitchen stuff. You don't have any spices at the house, so there you go. What's in here? <clears throat> What's in that Madison shoebox? Ooh, bling bling. Is that a price tag? Slightly used, a little smelly. Uh oh, hold on. This might be worth opening right here. See, she's to order shoes online. Bazzle. Boy, this is a uh, yard sale come up right here. Uh oh. Oh man, check that out. Got the Pat's Brute Blue Ribbon mug. Ooh, man, what is this? Oh, pair of binoculars. Hey, look, I think there's something in this box right here. I've got a couple of DVDs. Oh, yeah. Ooh, a Pokemon thing. Oh, is this a video game? Jellica, hold that. Oh, yeah, check that out. All right, Jellica, I want you to film a little bit. Okay. Oh, we got a Game Boy. Ooh, Game Boy says Game Boy Color. Is there a difference? And it's got Dragon Warriors in it. Okay. Yeah, some of the old, some of the old games at the flea market went even pieces. Fat Albert, Spider Man, Xbox 360. We got some Xbox 360 games. Well, if we find an Xbox 360 in here, that'd be a nice little come up. PlayStation 2. How much are they? I sold a piece of one. What? For ten bucks. PlayStation 2. No, yeah. Xbox. Uh, they ain't really worth a whole lot. None of the games are in these cases, so Star Wars. And that's the thing about DVDs and CDs. I put them all out, and none of them, none of them um, sold. None, none of them sold. None of them had the right things in them. What do you think's in here? Clothes. Looks like a bag of bags. That's exactly what it is. A bag of bags. Got some brand new pants still in the bag. She's the orderer. She's the online person. Ooh, nice pair. Nice pair. Not readers. Make sure you can see like what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, I see. Not a readers. Ah, oh, they're a reader. Good lord, boy. These ones got the prison fix. <laughs> tried, to, um, tried, to get them, tried to heat them up and melt them back together. Gold's gym, some workout stuff. A couple of Nerf. Things. Another brand new pair of pants, same kind of pair of pants that we just pulled out. Fanny packs. I noticed a lot of fanny this? packs yesterday too. Phone case. All right, it's already getting super hot. Yes, it is. Cups and glasses. I don't want to open that up. Backpack. Oh, this thing is heavy, Jellico. We got right here. What kind of backpack is, is it? Backpacks sell, man, too. What kind of backpack is it? It's a dookie stain backpack. Yo. Yeah. Is this all brand new school supplies? Don't say that, man. Dude, I swear it is. Unopened pencils, markers. Yeah, markers is the new thing. All paper. Dry erase. Notebooks. Why not? I don't want to get into the. Where's your gloves? Dude, oh. this unit has a lot more stuff in it than I first thought. Ooh. This looks like um, some brand new baby bottles. Baby anything is money. Curlers, girly stuff, bubbles. Bunch of nothing in here. Oh, 
boy though. Yeah. That looks like straight off the Jerry Springer set. All right, that's nasty. You gotta wonder like what happened to this chick because she's got a lot of really, really nice stuff in here. Uh-uh. Well, we found the, uh, a lot of pill bottles we got. Um, I don't know what these are. That's what happened. Is it drugs? Uh, hang on, let me cover the name. But I won't cover that. For all you, uh, can you see? Oxycodones. Oxycodones. Follow me on offer up if you're interested. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, Joe, let me get those. <laughs> what milligram are they? Whatever they are, they're going in the trash. Oh, it's a senior minimum and they're perks. Uh, they're fives. Perk fives, yeah. So this looks like a lot of kitchenware. I'm not concerned about this. Uh, there's a lot of, it just says what it is. Bowls, kitchen stuff. What is this? We got a Hot Wheels thing, if this is still in the box. Ooh, I see paper on the little screen. Yeah. Oh, relatively bling, bling. in good condition. Could be five or ten bucks right there. She's got the entire Left Behind series. <laughs> Believe it or not, bro. Those are a hit. Those right are there. popular, man. Yeah. She was a Christian. Baby Maybe. Avon. Ooh, is that Precious Moments? No, yep, it's not. Yeah, it is. is it Precious Moments? It says it right there. Precious Moments. All right on. Alright, books. Alright, let's throw some of these bags of clothes out there and then we're gonna start trying to load up the truck. Let's see what's in this chest. I think we're I'm betting sweaters. Ooh, that's a nice chest. All metal. No, it ain't all metal. It ain't metal, that ain't metal. I just painted gray. It's painted gray. This chest is in relatively decent condition, but here's the crazy thing. I thought it was locked. You were right. Ah! Hold on. Sweaters. Some slippers. Hang on, man. See what type, what kind of bag that is. That is, is detrimental to... Bras? Like scarves. Scarves, shoes. It's a lot of clothes. Chest ain't in the greatest condition. There's some rust on it. Well, chest could be something. It's got a little carrier right there, too. All right, check that out. Heck yeah. Girls room. Girls? She had a boy and a girl? Ah, that's some heavy do with tape right there. Toys. Tons of toys. Something's talking to me in here. Sesame Street, all kids. Here's a bunch of miscellaneous. So I'm thinking the value is going to be the bed sets for sure so far. Uh, maybe some of the Avon stuff could be worth something. Oh, God, that stinks. Boys, dirty clothes, faded glory. Jesus. Faded glory. Walmart shopper. Mm, wrong with Walmart. That stuff is definitely and dirty. Well, boys, dirty boys. It smells like straight butt cheeks inside <laughs> of that thing. <laughs> You're getting to the money shot. That's what I want to see right there. This one? More books. Stephen King. Oh, she's a religious. She had more than enough clothes. Stephen King, brand new book. Dr. Sleep. Pristine condition. It says it's $3.99, brand new. There it is. That's the money. There it is. This is what I believe tells a lot. Bunch of guest shoes. Guest shoes is good. Guest shoes, Nine West. High dollar. Oh, guest shoes. Hang on. What's that purse? What kind of purse is that? Is that that G? G, C, G. 
Gucci. All right, it is super hot in here. We are sweating like crazy. This is not climate controlled. I don't know why they'd be lying and saying these joints are climate controlled. Uh, but I want to show you guys, we have cleared off, we've cleared off the table, cleared off everything that we have in here, loaded the truck up, and we're getting ready to continue digging. I did pop the top on this box, I ain't going to lie to you, I think there's going to be some cool stuff to show you guys in here. I didn't open it all the way up, tell look how we cut it, do the honors. Another a drum set looking thing in there. Drums, please! You little drummer boy. Ooh. Ooh. Boy, we might be finding a full-size drum set up or a kid's drum set. There's tons of clothes in this unit. So what we're gathering so far is that it probably was a woman and her kids that had this unit. Oh, I see some goodies that might be in that box right there. Let's hurry up and get to that. More clothes, Jellico. Sorry about that. God, man, there is so much clothes. But the good news is, is this unit is it's not trashed. You know, so it's going to be really easy to get this cleared out. It does look a little trashed up there. Hopefully all of that stuff isn't too bad. But let's get to some of these boxes. Hey, will you hold me down real, real quick? Because it's heavy. And make sure we got good focus. Too. Good focus. Jellico, this box is super heavy. Books. Okay. Are these college books? Yes, those are college books. That's what I took. Hey, if these are college books, college books they got are. some value. A lot of kids' books, and these books look like they're brand new. So, the one thing about books and trying to sell them is if they're not brand new and in mint condition, they're hard to sell if you can even sell them at all. All these are brand new, so maybe a couple bucks. I sold not one book. Not one book? Nope, I gave more coloring books away than anything. Got some uh, costume jewelry or kids. Right on. Kids jewelry stuff here. <sighs> Looks like. And even kids won't even take a toy, uh, a game set, a game board set, if they think none of all the pieces aren't there. <laughs> kids don't want no game boards anyway. They're like, yo, what, a, what, a, what, a Xbox games at? Yeah. Mom. I said, hey, you can have that. She said, no, it's okay. No, thank you. All the pieces aren't there. Funny that you mentioned that because this is a box full of board games. It's, at least that's what it said on the thing. That's what it looks like. Ooh. Black Heritage Trivia Game. That's brand new, still in the packaging. Ooh. Oh, they got operations. You're the doctor. Hey, this is brand new. Not even opened. Sliders. Sorry, sliders. Okay. Oh, they got Scrabble? Uh-oh, who wants some Scrabble? You don't want none of that. So I played this game as a fishing game when I was a kid. What is that? A Nintendo <sighs> DS. Or a, Ooh, Nintendo, a Nintendo 3DS XL. Bling, bling. It is very dirty. All right, let's keep this box off the side. This is going to be one that we definitely got to go digging through more. I feel like we're getting to the goodies, folks. They're going to be buried all the way in the back of the unit. This feels like more clothes. Looks like a lot of kids' clothes. This looks like more clothes. That's dirty laundry usually. Be careful when it's in a bag. Alright, well, I'm not going through it. What's in here? Ooh. Boys' clothes. What? What? Whole lot of. How are we supposed to get to this? Maybe the girl was tall. I mean, how did she get it up here? Like I said, maybe the girl was tall. Uh oh, let's see what we got. We got boxes full of boxes. Oh, good she, God. She was a hippie. It's tie dye. Uh oh. Uh oh. That looks like it's part of a game system. The heck is this? Uh oh, be careful. Any jewelry? Yes. Jewelry. That's an earring. Oh. She wear bamboo earrings, at least two pairs. Library card. Hmm. 
Hidden Secrets and Nightmares. It's a computer game. Ooh, no. More medical stuff. Hey, brand, brand new. All these are brand new. Okay, cool. That's good. Maybe she was a booster. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. I wonder who boosts uh, flannel blankets. Fleece, fleece blankets. Fleece blankets. Throw blankets. <laughs> Where the goodies at? I don't want to even dig through that. It looks disgusting. More clothes. Remember that one time you told me what the most valuable thing we got with a totes? Yep. I don't think. I think we got too many totes now. But look at these. Look at all these damn totes. This is like 20 more totes in here. Those are the cheap totes. Well, they're totes regardless. Damn, I thought I saw something moving in there. A lot of men's clothes. Lord. Don't know. Ooh, oh, jackpot. Uh oh. I'll step back. Let me see here. Let's jackpot. get let me get a spot on the table. Come on. Spot on the table. Come on. Here we go. I don't know if this is where the value's at, Jellico, or what I'm getting ready to pull out. You ready for this? Oh Hold man, on. Don't, don't even do don't, it. Yet. Don't, don't open don't. it. Yet. Okay, okay. Oh, Boy. oh yeah. She was a tie. Private dancer. All right, anything up in here? Boom! Nothing. Come on. Nothing. Right, lightning! Oh, costume. Couple of things. Nothing. Ah. An SD card. I wonder what's on that, that memory card. Ooh. Boom! Hey, I'll tell you what, though. This is a decent little jewelry case right mm -hmm. here. Oh! Even with nothing in it. All right, there should be one more. Oh, that ain't it. There ain't one there. Dang it! That's not it! Uh oh. <gasps> Recipes. Nope. Really, man? Tons of oh. baby pictures. Baby pictures. Pills. Pills. What does that say? Mm -hmm. Abba what? Car key. Car key. This thing's loaded. Mm. Ooh, a piece of chocolate. A little Ooh, lunch. More coach. Coach. Is that what that is? Yep. That thing's yep. dirty. You don't know purses by now, man. I've been looking up purses all weekend. Mm, big ass ring. Bang, bang. Boy, oh, that joint look super fake. A couple of little pieces of jewelry. Nothing too major. What the hell is that? <laughs> you got somebody's Luffy. Alright. Still no gloves, huh? You don't like wearing gloves, huh? Alright, this is a big old knickknack joint right here. How about some goodies? Ooh, here we go. The complete Sherlock Holmes. Oh, we got the uh the Twilight series. She was a book reader, wasn't she? Yeah, she was. Uh -oh. Another jewelry box is broken. Damn. What's this? Should be a Bible. Damn, yep. sure is. Very religious chick. A lot of books. Ooh, Ooh look Ooh, at this. Edgar Allan Poe. That's a big. That's a big that one book's right. probably got a little bit of value. Twilight's not in horrible condition. Complete Sherlock Holmes, first edition. Kitchen items, I don't even want to mess with it. So there's that. Girl's room says clothes. Not sure what it sounds like. And I noticed that none of the kitchen items that I had sold a couple plates, but little tiny vases and knickknacks did sell. Let's open this. This says living room. Could be game Ooh. consoles. Ooh, a whole bathroom set. Entire set in a bag. Ooh, what kind of bag is that? Oh, is that a real official? Is that official? Michael Kors. Ooh, look inside. Look inside. Does it have the number? Hang on. There we go. Complete set. We got a little bit of money so far. 
Frozen, Harry yeah. Potter books. Yo, man. She had I nice he, I stuff. I think you might do all right with the books, man. I don't know. This one's not in that great a condition. Oh, well, maybe it is. Here's a lamp. A Hewitt Packer. Computer probably ain't worth a whole hell of a lot. A pitcher. Yeah, it doesn't sound like what's in it. I don't even know where you open it from. I don't know. It might be what's in it. Yeah, it is. Really? Yeah. That's still in the box, unopened. This was the one of the things that really sparked my interest with this unit. Teddy bears. Ah! Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh. Why well, you gotta be right, Jellico? Why well, you gotta be right? Bunch of teddy bears. Bunch of nothing. Kitchen items, plastic. I'm not even worried about that. I told you, double bunk beds. And with that pink over there, there's probably three sets of bunk beds. That's why there's this all... This is three sets of bunk beds, you're right. And we got the bunker boards. Uh, damn, she had a lot of kids, John. I told you, she, that wasn't just her kids. There was a couple names, I told you. That's why all the clothes. I think there's something in there or the one, other one on top. That's heavy, I'll tell you that. Here's your purses. More books. Oh, we need this. No shit. Oh god. <laughs> That's the best item we found so far. <laughs> <laughs> It's an wow. old school jank. Well, she was doing telemarketing from the house. Or maybe she was doing that uh, video slash scam thing. Hoochie mama. Ooh. Let's go ahead and load up the truck again. Gotcha. That way we can get some room. And then we're going to finish up this unit, folks. We definitely got plenty of beds. Look at all these damn beds. Tons of mattresses. More mattresses. At least... Like Jellica said, probably three bunk bed sets. King size bed set right here. More bunk beds. A couple more boxes back there. I think we're going to do okay on this unit, but it is a lot of stuff. So, like I said, we're going to get the truck loaded up. And we're going to bring you guys what else we're finding up in here, if anything. All right, round three. Here's where we are right now, folks. We got it almost all the way cleared out. Looking like we're getting close to just being with the furniture. Me and Jellico have been loading up the truck. Uh, we're going to get ready to go through all of this stuff once we get to the storage unit where we're going to get a chance to really see what kind of stuff we got, what we're going to you know, donate, throw away, or try to sell. But Jellico's getting ready to come back in here. We're going to get the beds out. This is going to go on last because we're probably just going to end up throwing this thing away. Uh, this thing is absolutely disgusting, and this is not worth anything to me or probably to anybody else. But I want Jellico to share... What you just shared with me, man, and that was a really powerful little thing that you were talking about. Ah, oh, man. Uh, I've been working a lot, and uh, before the yard sale, I was just collecting money from different jobs and stuff. And uh, I went to go count my money, and I, uh, it's not much, it's not much, but I counted $1,000 after all my bills were paid. And I'm ahead of the game, a grand, and it's the first time I've ever had $1,000 legit in my wallet, you know, so... It's a big stepping stone for me because I've never had that. I mean, I got two separate little bank accounts and stuff like that. You know, and I saved a little bit of money, but not much. But that was honestly the very first time I've had $1,000 that I could say that I, I didn't do anything illegal for. And I earned it. Well, you definitely deserve a very special shout out for that. Right. I'm sure the Army will be very proud of you. Yeah, man. And I'm sure they're all probably wanting to say exactly what I need to say. Yeah. And that is, uh, can I borrow twenty dollars? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Shout out well, to Jellica. I, I mean, there's a lot of people that too, and a lot of people want to help. They they send me messages. Hey, can you mail these clothes? And I checked it out. The postage and handling this to mail you like a fifty pound bag of clothes, it, it's it's just not worth it. And I want to send people stuff, man. And it breaks my heart that I can't help. But like anybody in the neighborhood, when I have my yard sales, they know. That I bless people with a lot of different stuff, and you gave a lot of stuff away. Yeah, and I've been finding out that. Like I was telling you in the vehicle, uh, the more I am a kind of greedy guy, and I always like to have the high side, but the more that I stop thinking less of myself and just take care of others and not put myself first, 
things have been coming. It's a slow process, but man, things have been coming, man. My work, I can't, there's work all day, every day, and I help people, I, hand, I can on side jobs and stuff like that, but I, it's just, <laughs> I'm doing really well, man. Well, I'm doing really super well. Super proud of you, man. Right on, man. All right, I think this is the final box. There's nothing written on it. Let's make it super quick, baby. What? What could be in here? Oh, hang on, hang on. Do that Major again. Do that, do that again. Do that again. Does it look like, cuts do it again. Like, we found a kilo. <laughs> How in the uh, God bless him. What if it really was a kilo up in here? Oh, it's more hair. What the God bless us there's a head in here. Oh my God. Ah! It's a box of it's heads. A body. What's in the box? What's in the box? No. Hey, so when I'm doing my prison skits and I'm talking about something, <laughs> I'm like, hey, I'm such a dicky neighbor. It was, uh, so it says Marjorie Butler, PM. So maybe she was doing hair. Yo, man. Well. Yo, we can put all our hats on this, man. Hey, man, this girl's kind of cute, man. Yo, what the hell kind of a. Oh, it's the bottom of the bunk bed set. It's the girl with the brown eyes. Hang on, I like the other girl. Hey, baby, how you doing? It's in the box. Where did my heads go? It's over. <laughs> Remember seven? At the end of seven? Oh, yeah. Red bit. Was in the back. Was in the back. Was in the Bung, bung, bung. <laughs> All right, folks. We got four bunk bed sets, one king size mattress, a crib, and maybe a twin set, uh, twin set <laughs> as well. Also, she's got the fold away bed right here. What? Oh, maybe not. <laughs> That's to the crib. Told you, bunk. Look. Bunk bed twin. Is it? I was joking. Is it? It is. It is, isn't it? It's I don't a, know any it's other a bunk bed crib set. <laughs> I've never seen one, bro. Have you ever seen a, a bunk bed crib set? Yeah. That's, That's what those are. There sure is a lot of pee on this thing. It <laughs> smells straight like urine. <laughs> Maybe they uh they didn't like diapers. Sure is a lot of pee pee on that. Yee! Boy, is it messed up on you? Hey, because oh. you're going to find mattresses for that bad boy. That is a not a twin. Okay, that so is... this is going straight to the dumpster just like the rest. Hey, look, we can put this on offer up, use a little filter, make sure it looks like it's completely white. And when they show up, be like, look, it's just got a couple of stains on it. Uh, that looks like it could be bed bugs, honestly. All right. Don't say that. No, that's legitimately what that looks like. So I want to keep this away from the other beds. All right, folks, we're going to go ahead and load up the truck. Then we're going to the storage unit and to go over all of our goodies. We're going to take a look at all of our goodies. See how many bed sets in total we got. We got so many pieces oh, to look. beds. Look, you got a good kid and you had a bad kid. <laughs> yeah, that one looks like it's in good shape. It is. All right, let's load up the truck and get the heck out of here. All right. We're all loaded up. And we are back at the storage facility right now, folks. And we also got a special guest who's about to be joining us in a minute. Uh, they were up here waiting on us. We're going to get backed up. And we're going to go through some stuff. We're going to get a good update. Try not to hit nothing. I got a brain freeze. I love it. I got Italian subs stuck in my teeth. Do I hear a, hear a moped? It sounds like a Harley Davidson. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> what in the god? <laughs> What'd you get another one? Yeah, I did. Holy moly, Corsa, you are flexing. You got another moped. This motherfucker flies over. <laughs> Good lord, man. What's going on with you? Oh, man. How you doing? Working hard, man. Yeah, I bought this one used for 300 bucks, man. <laughs> this thing sounds like a Harley. <laughs> Boy, you got a joint guy been zip tied back together. Yeah, oh yeah, it's got zip ties all over. I bought this thing for 300 bucks, man. What's up with the other moped? You still got that one? I sold it to Alex. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what a revolving door these mopeds have been. <laughs> so hold on, let's re let's backtrack real quick. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, he did that, yeah. I, I sold you 
Jew Man's moped. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then I sold Alex's moped to somebody off of Facebook Marketplace. And you sold the moped that I sold you that was Jew Man's back, back to Alex. Right. <laughs> Damn. Our little moped gang. <laughs> I had the kit and everything put on that one you gave me. Right. Uh, one, one I got from you and then uh, I sold it to Alex. I gave him the same price I got it from you for or whatever, so he got a deal on that. And Alex got, yeah, Alex got out of jail. He got out. The charges against him got dropped, so that's good for him. What you been up to, man? You been working? Yeah, man, working my butt off, man. I'm trying to get in the shipyard, man. Uh, uh, Chris just, uh, Chris got me, uh, got me on the shipyard, really. I'm just waiting to get, uh, waiting to get my ID and everything approved. And... You gonna be painting with him? Yep, yep. Chris, another guy from Master Prison Ship. There we go. Yep. Well, right. look, man, Corso, welcome to... Welcome to our storage facility and shout out to Corso because Corso is doing great. Uh, I want to get your reaction real quick. Allow me to introduce you to Value City Furniture. <laughs> all right. If we ain't got it, we can get it. Oh yeah, we got a truck full of stuff. All right, all right. And got no room to put anything. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Corso, we got kitchen tables, we've got bed sets, we've got full bedroom sets, we've got... Hey. I just seen a king size mattress and box spring for 50 bucks, man. Y'all can buy that and flip it, man. I'm we just threw like, away a king size box yeah, spring and uh, it's mattress. A, it's a memory foam king size box spring on uh, Facebook Marketplace. So box spring and mattress, memory foam, 50 Damn. bucks. Well, I got a king size bed set up in here. Uh, just just, got, we just picked up. Jellico, go ahead and pop up the pop the door so we can show Corso what we got. And right, I just got my mattress uh, yesterday for the for the bed and everything I bought from y'all. Bed in the box spring I bought from y'all. Well, heck yeah. Right. I was about to head up to Walmart and uh, buy yeah. some things I need. We're gonna need there. your help. This needs to go in there. Woo wee! <laughs> so we got three bunk bed sets, three a crib set, <laughs> and then a king size bed set. Not to mention, God only knows what else. We've got some weave in here. We've got a couple of mannequin heads like they was doing the hair. Y'all got all this from buying storage units? Yeah, that's all one storage unit right there. Okay. And in here, it's probably, uh, I'd probably say about, what, 10 storage units? I'd say 9 or 10. Yeah. How much did y'all pay for that particular one there? 100 bucks. Hell Funny yeah. story about that one, though. I was bidding on it, and it got up to, uh, to $210. Uh-huh. And then somebody outbid me for $220. And they never went and got it. They tried to sell it to me for 210. I didn't want it. It was back on the auction this morning for 30 bucks. It got up to 110. I got it for uh, I got it for 110. Sweet. Yeah, well, that was a nice one. Eh? And it's not one of the greater ones, but uh, it's a it's a decent one. The greatest one that we got. I had a washer and dryer set out of it that I just got. Sold that for 350. That okay. this right here that you're looking at is solid brass. And this is worth anywhere between $250 upwards of maybe even a couple thousand dollars. Really? It's a antique table set. I got the legs for it. They're not Moroccan. here. Yeah, Moroccan tray table is what it's called. Wow. Come on back here, Corso. Come look at everything we got. All right. I got the, the Mary Kay. We got the bootleg Mary Kay right here. Under Armour hats or fucking Oh yeah, we got we got we're gonna have a yard sale up here this weekend. Where at here? Right here. Okay. You're gonna have to text me to get the VIP pass for the gate code. I got some antique uh, brass and glass table sets. Are these are antiques? Uh -huh. Yeah, they're decent. I got those posted right now. Okay. I thought so. The the official deal with these these things could be worth upwards of twenty five hundred dollars. I don't think wow. that these ones are. Mm -hmm. So I've got these ones listed. I think for two hundred bucks for the whole set. Damn. So that's that. Got one bunk bed set already back here. Another bunk bed set. We got some nice little, uh, I don't know, house accessories. I got four, four kitchen table sets. You got any bookshelves, like wooden bookshelves? I think that's the only one that I got. I want sixty bucks for that just because that's so unique. Uh huh. I haven't had a whole lot, a whole lot of people offering anything on that yet, but it'll, it'll probably go. Man. Yeah, it definitely is unique. Oh, where are my shots at? I got some. We got some freaky stuff up in here too. We done found some sex toys. <laughs> oh yeah. We done found some shots. Oh, this is the Mary Kay. <laughs> Look at Jellica. Jellica's like, I can tell you where they're at. <laughs> yeah, we got all sorts of stuff. Where is that sex toy? Some tools here, huh? Oh yeah, we got a lot of tools. Oh, here it is, right here, of course. Huh? Check this out. So this thing right here is the uh, the stimulator. I don't know where the bullet. Oh my God. I don't know how it works. <laughs> Jellico, Jellico tried to give a full yeah. demonstration on Jellico the YouTube video. More about that than I would. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of stuff up in here. 
and uh, not a whole lot of room. So we're gonna have to figure this whole thing out. Hey, Jellico, you ready to unload the truck? Yeah, you guys definitely Where? gotta uh, maximize the space y'all got here, man. That's, Just stack it up on top up. of shit. Yeah, so I gotta... All right, so we got Corso with us. Not sure how long he's gonna stick around, especially when we're talking about, uh, <laughs> hey, uh, we're about to unload this truck. But we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do. Hopefully we're gonna get the truck unloaded. We're gonna start going through some stuff. We're gonna talk a little bit more with Corso. Of course, he can't leave yet. <laughs> I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> hey, look, a lot of people have been asking about you, man. So what's really been going on with you? Not much, man. Just working my butt off, man. Like I said, uh, I've been working six, seven days a week, you know, buying a bunch of things that I need to get. A uh, new bedroom suit, uh, new yeah. bed, uh, tools. And you got me sharp, a... man. I remember last time I seen you, you still look at him. He's got all new gear on, new hat, new sunglasses, <laughs> new shoes. Yeah. Whoa! Flex one time for him, though. <laughs> bought me a spray rig. Oh, I bought me two spray rigs. Got me a pressure washer. I'm hoping to, you know, start my own business going like beginning of next spring. Hell yeah, man. Nice pressure washer too, man. Heck yeah. Still looking for a girlfriend. <laughs> I don't really have time to be looking for real. <laughs> Priorities, man. Priorities. Yeah. That is a priority. All right. So it's late in the day, and here's what we've gotten done so far. <laughs> don't do that with me sitting here, man. It's crazy, man. <laughs> The truck is still not unloaded at all. We're not going to unload it today. What we've been doing is we've been trying to work in here. And it probably doesn't look like we've done much of anything at all. So I'm going to show you guys what we've been doing. Of course, they're still with us. He ran to try to use the bathroom real quick. So we've been back in here clearing out, trying to make room. Going through boxes that we hadn't gone through yet. Uh, we found a guitar. That little toy guitar right here. Bunch of little miscellaneous knickknacks. We got through all of the boxes and what we started doing is consolidating things. So we've got like a whole bag of purses right here. I'll show you probably one of the most interesting finds. This purse right here is brand new, still with the tag on it. It's an Ivanica Trump purse. She has her own clothing line. 159 bucks. You guys probably can't see that real well. It says Ivanica Trump. The price tag on this, $125. So. Got a whole bag of purses right here. Whole lot of Christmas wear. My God, we've got so much decorative Christmas plate wear. Even more down here on the floor. Lots of cup sets. And we're trying to put together like yard sale stuff and trying to clear out space at the same time. Bunch of mattresses back here that we put together. We're gonna make this like our mattress area. And Corso has been helping us with this. He's been having a lot of fun. Uh, going through this stuff with us. So the game plan is, folks, to potentially try to do a yard sale, maybe even as early as this weekend. Uh, the rent's coming up on this place. It's $430 a month. If, you know, we could have a weekend like what Jellico just had, I don't think that that would be too hard to do. But we also got a move coming up on Saturday as well, so it may only be like a Sunday yard sale. We'll have to figure it all out. But we got a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff that we think is gonna sell and Corso, you've been helping us with this. What's going on? <laughs> Corso even bought a cup from us. Where's your cup at? My cup. Yeah, check this out. Corso just bought a cup from us. Something I can use at the shipyard because I don't let you take bottles on the on the ships no more, man. Save the tie ties, man. Breast cancer awareness, man. Very important. <laughs> October's coming up, man. Breast that... cancer awareness month. Look, I'm laughing, <laughs> but. I... I'm going to justify this real quick. I'm not laughing at that at all. I'm laughing at your damn blinker on your moped, oh course. Come on, man. Y'all going to find my blinker, man? Come on. This man's got a dangling blinker right here. All right. Like, you ever seen short circuit? I bet you I'll smoke that box truck, man. <laughs> <laughs> remember short I'm sure circuit? you would. Remember short circuit, Johnny number five? He's got little eyes. That's what it looks like. Yeah, I traded in the brand new one for this old piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Brand new one. And I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you, Corso. That's exactly what this thing is. I mean, this thing, this thing has seen better days, brother. Hey, that's just the body, baby. This thing runs like a champ. I'm telling you. Hey, it gets me back and forth to work, man. That's all I care about. I'm making money. That's all I care about. <laughs> Look, Corso, we spent a lot of time with you, but not a lot of time filming. You know, I wanted to make this somewhat of an update with you, and we just got completely sidetracked with the storage unit. But look, right. let's talk about this, man. You've been home from prison for how long now? Uh, let's see, I came home June 10th, what? June, July, August, September, what, 90 days? Is that all it's been? Yeah, it was longer, Seems like it's been longer, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. 
about 90 days. Yeah, 90 days a day. And how's it been for you? It's been great. You know, I've been, like I said, I've been really busy. Been working my tail off, you know. Uh, I got out, I got in the clinic, the boxing clinic. I know a lot of people, you know, were trying to tell me I shouldn't do that and everything, but it's been good for me, man. It's been- uh, it's, it's kept you on the right track. Exactly, it's kept me on the right track. It's keeping me straight, you know. Uh, I haven't resorted to go back and use opiates, which that's my, always been my struggle, you know, and uh, my downfall uh, multiple times. So I haven't been messing with none of that. I've been just working my butt off, you know, like I said, getting all the things that I've needed to get taken care of, you know, just getting all my furniture back in order, getting my ride back. Uh, I'm working on getting my license back now. I got to go take a driver improvement class, you know, just trying to get one thing, in, one thing at a time done, man, one step at a time moving in the right direction, you know. <laughs> That's the only thing that matters. You know, is there anything you want to say to everybody? There's been a lot of people who've been asking how you're doing, they want the updates, they, they they rock with you, Corso. They've been rooting for you, and they're gonna be happy to hear that you're doing really well. And again, is there anything you want to say to everybody? Uh, yeah, man, thanks a lot for all y'all's positive feedback, your support and everything, I appreciate it. You know, I'm doing great. Uh, uh, just, you know, if you ever want to say hey or Ask me any questions, you know, uh, you can hit me up on Facebook or whatever. A lot of y'all already have. Uh, Send nudes. <laughs> no, I'm, good. I'm good on all that. Well, you said you were looking for a girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, you said, uh, all, these, all these girls I've been meeting are just crazy as hell. Uh, it just seems like that's all I attract. <laughs> Stay away from the crazy course zone. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Yeah, man. You're doing awesome, awesome, bro. You really are, man. I appreciate it. I'm trying to. <laughs> Just enjoying my freedom, man. That's that's the number one thing, you know what I mean? Just stay free, stay clean. <laughs> well, anyways, as we wrap this up, man, can we hear this? Uh, can we can we see this Harley Davidson in action, man? <laughs> so yeah, let's see how your new uh your new Harley Davidson rides. Damn sure it sounds like a freaking hot rod. Oh, yeah, it's loud. It needs a muffler. I've already got the muffler ordered. They ordered one for it in uh the damn thing uh. I guess he was trying to surprise me, saying order some kind of performance muffler or something for it. But when he got it, the damn thing didn't fit. So uh, Butch down there at L&M, he's ordering. He's, he's been taking care of me. Uh, he's ordering me another one now, and uh, so it'll probably be here Friday and get that put on there. But right now, it's loud as. <laughs> thing does sound like a heart. Good on that thing.